what I also want to add to this is a means of enveloping. So we've got a way of changing our um, uh, our uh, oscillators. What we want is a way of um, adding an ADSR envelope. Well, there is, as it happens, quite a useful uh, object for doing that, and it is called ADSR tilde. Um, so what I need to do is to go into this sub pack, or sorry, to, into this abstraction, and add one of those. Um, and in order to do that, I can either find the voice patch in my um, uh, using the finder, which I think will be here. So if I look down here, there it is. So that's that, and you can see it's uh, I've just done it. Um, I can either open it from there and and then edit it, or I can click on Alt and then hit um, the menu bar where it says voice and it will give me a little kind of hierarchy of uh, from my main patch into this sub patch and if I click on where it says voice it's not entirely intuitive but if you click on there then it will open in in front of your uh, current window this um, the original file and you can tell it's the original file because it doesn't have the square brackets around it um, so if you find, sometimes it will open on top, directly on top of what you had there before, which means you don't even notice it's come up. Um, but the thing to look for is the absence of the square brackets, and then you'll know that it's the, uh, the right patch. So uh, we'll unlock that and add in, as I say, the uh, ADSR tilde. And what that comes up with is um, five inlets, um, and one out and four outlets, only one of which you will need. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that and simply connect this to here. Um, and what ADSR permits is four inlets which determine, as you would expect, the first one is the attack of the envelope. Just make that a little bit bigger so that we can fit all of these in. Uh, the next one is the um, decay, the next one is sustain, and the next one is release. Now, attack, decay, and sustain are all durations. They are all, they will all be uh, millisecond um, uh, time lengths. So your attack would happen over, for example, um, 40 milliseconds. Your decay would happen over, say, 100 milliseconds. And your release might happen over, say, I don't know, uh, 300 or 400 milliseconds, something like that. The sustain part is um, uh, an amount. Uh, sorry, a the sustain part is a um, actually. I need to check that. The sustain part is a factor of the amplitude. So what will happen is when you um, you trigger a note, we'll obviously get a value between 0 and 1 coming out of the bottom of here. Um, and so if it's, uh, if it's an on value, if anything other than 0, it will, um, it will trigger the note. And obviously that will be determined by, um, uh, you know, the attack and decay and um, uh, values that you put in there. Um, and so that the attack, the attack will take it to its uh, the value that you or the the amount that you've hit the note. So the loudest the note can possibly be. Um, the attack will take you there. Then the decay will come down to there to a value that you have specified as your sustain amount and that value will be as I say a factor of the amplitude so if it's 0 0.5 um, it will be half it will come down to half of the um, uh, the attack amplitude um, and it will remain at that ha um, amplitude until you release the note by turning it off at which point you'll get your release thing kicking in and it will take that long to uh, go to zero um, so uh, 
I'm not entirely well. I hope I hope that that was clear. So you um, you'll you'll hit your note. Say your velocity was um, 127. You hit it as hard as possible. That means that a num the number one will come out of here. Um, now let let's just say I put in. Let's hang on. Let's put in some values. So I'll put in 50. I'll put in. Whoops. I'll put in 100. I'll put in 0 0.6. And then I'll put in uh, 300 here. So say I hit a note, um, and that note uh, had a velocity of 127. So I hit it as hard as I possibly could, and didn't break the key, hopefully. Um, then the value coming out of the bottom here would be 1. Um, so the envelope would take 50 milliseconds to go from 0, which is where it obviously starts, to 1. And then it will immediately take 100 milliseconds to go from there to the value specified by the sustain amount, which is 0 0.6. So it would be 60% of the original. Um, so it would go from 1 to 0 0.6. And stay at 0 0.6 until you release the key, where it will, upon it will take 300 milliseconds to ramp down to uh, 0. If you hit it at, say, half velocity, so six, say 64, then your value coming out of here would be 0 0.5 so it would take 50 milliseconds to go to 0 0.5 uh, volume 100 milliseconds to go down to 0 0.6 of 0 0.5 which would be um, 0 0.3 stay at 0 0.3 until you release the note and then it goes back to 0 so uh, yeah I hope that, that should make it clearer um, so what we'll do is uh, we will do exactly the same in terms of controlling the envelope because we want the envelope to be consistent across voices so I will do the same as I did before and put in receive values for um, attack and decay and sustain I don't think any of these single letters are reserved so we should be alright and release and that means that I can save my voice patch again and that information will be saved to all of my other sub patches. Um, so back up here, oops, in my main part of my patch I can change these, oops, sorry, I can change these to send objects. Go and uh, and and control their values from here. Um, so I'll do that. So I'll I'll, okay, I'll make this fifty again. I'll make this a hundred again. I'll make this. Actually, I'll make it a bit more dramatic than 0 0.6. I'll make it 0 0.3. So you'll notice that there's a difference there. And then I'll make the release time 400 milliseconds. Um, we would have to uh, remember if you have left this on, say, Sawtooth and then modified any of these voice patches, they will forget what you've sent them um, because... Uh, they will need the the selector will go back to the, its default state because you've re-initialized that patch essentially. So you'll need to send this information again if it's sort of sitting on sorted. So if you find that it doesn't make any sound, remember that you'll have to re-trigger or resend this information from here. Um, so now we should. Okay, you can hear. That there's an attack going on there. Uh, well, there's, there's certainly an enveloping going on there. 